My name is Joseph Kramosik. I'm a former lawyer in Ontario. I am the first and perhaps still only Canadian to receive a federal sentence of imprisonment for insider trading. It was an activity that I engaged in in over 100 separate deals covering 15 years that eventually resulted in uh, my imprisonment and uh, the death of my co-accused. Around the world, there's over 100 countries that prohibit insider trading, where if you're someone with confidential information, you are an executive or an officer, an employee, and you trade on your, your knowledge, that's something that, that we condemn. Neither of us remembers whose idea was, like, we should do this too, but obviously one of us said, let's, let's do this too. My best friend was here because of me and mistakes I made. Is there a problem on, on Bay Street? For sure. In some ways, greater risks than in Wall Street or London. At a certain point in time, we were making so much money trading, so I left the best firm in Canada, and then moving down to being a guy trading stock with inside information full time. If my job is to find reasons why the rules don't apply to you, well, then I can find reasons why they don't apply to me. Characteristics of psychopathy, such as uh, manipulation, um, charming, are really valued in business. My sense is that in the criminal context, we treat crimes that relate to physical harm very seriously and crimes that relate to economic harm a little bit less seriously. Joseph has certainly paid for his crime. He's lost his best friend, had the harsh, most harshest sentence ever for any Canadian uh, in relation to this crime. He was my best friend and then he just disappears after you know a, a terrible situation. And I, I've never fill, filled that void with anyone else or, or anything else. I could say I think about it every single day.